Well, hello, this is Rochelle and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you subscribe and uh, share this video. Today I'm getting back into the watercolor and sketch in my painting Bible. Um, this is a Bible I have dedicated for trying out new things, challenging myself to drawing, uh, things like that. And the sketches aren't original, my own sketches. Um, I use inspiration from all kinds of places. This specific one is from the Sweet Frog Print Shop. The Sweet Frog Print Shop. You can check them out on Etsy and um, Instagram and Facebook. She's got stunning art and gorgeous printables. So you can go check that out. Um, and I was very uh, inspired by this specific one. It's a black and white sketch that she put out. And uh, it is about Jeremiah 18 verse 6 where God speaks and he says that we are like clay in his hands. Um, in the potter's hands. So someone who makes clay pots and things like that. Uh on a turntable, I don't even know what those things are called, the technical terms for them. But bottom line is the imagery has always been of, um, well for me, of seeing this clay pot. But this specific image inspiration that I used was specifically of this lady working on this pot. And I realized how powerful the imagery is in the sense of understanding that Father God has this picture of what I'm supposed to look like. And even though it's a messy lump of clay at the moment, he sees the end from the beginning. So he knows what it is that he wants to form me into. And so I really loved the fact that this is a work in progress. It's not a finished work just yet. And so this girl, um, I'm adding some color to it and uh, just using my watercolors. These are the By the Well for God watercolor paint swatches or cards. Uh, you can check out her Etsy shop as well, By the Well for God. Um, and I'm using some of those colors uh, and then just realizing that I'm not getting the specific colors I want for this image so going on to my Munio, Munio paints watercolor paints um, and I'm using a Faber-Castell brush round brush I think this is a size 8 or 10 I'm not exactly sure can't remember exactly but I'll write it down in the description for you um, and I'm using my normal earthy colors <laughs> like the the blues and the greens and the browns the earthy colors <laughs> so sticking to who i am um not i don't like very bright colors so that's just the way it is um and so a little bit more on the art like i said i use this bible specifically to practice in to challenge myself to try new things i know that i have challenges with hands drawing hands i know that i have challenges with um face shapes eyes i mean i cannot draw, draw an eye so i've been youtubing <laughs> to see how to sketch an eye um and i'm i'm nowhere near there yet <laughs> so i very much am trying it out you know pushing myself just a little bit outside of my boundary every single time and so I want to encourage you to do the same. If there's that thing that is kind of hanging over you that you can't do, um, change your mind. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Change your mind and get into the place where you at least try. If you haven't tried, you really can't say that you can't. So even though um, I, this picture by no means has the proportions that hers does or the accuracy that hers does or looks nearly as artsy as hers does, I am moving outside of the place of comparison with others but more into the place of did I try something new today that I was too afraid 
to try yesterday. And this is what this Bible for me is for. I love all the inspiration on um, on our digital platforms and our social medias. It's great. But never fall into that trap of comparison. And again, this brings us back to this verse. God has this plan of what you should look like. He also has a plan of what your neighbor should look like. And the two are not the same. How great is that, that God loves us so much that he has this unique, beautiful plan for us, for our lives, for who we are and what we should look like, not just in our physical being, although even that, he says that the hairs on our head is numbered. So not just is counted, but is numbered. So he knows when number 4073 <laughs> falls out. And here's the thing. He takes delight in you, in making you into who you are supposed to be. He takes delight in you. Zephaniah speaks that he's, he's dancing, he's rejoicing over you with singing. How great is that? I can just, you know, my, my picture brain is imaging this um, or is picturing this to no extent, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm using Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens here. They do not bleed through the Bible, so these are unprepped pages. And even though I worked with water on top of it in the watercolors, it doesn't bleed through to the other side, which I absolutely love. And even with this brush pen, this um, uh, brown brush nib, th th those words, nothing of this bleeds through these thin Bible pages, which for me, that's just awesome. <laughs> so I've um, tried out my writing in pencil and then gone over it with my pen and then I add my dates at the bottom just to remind myself of which day I tried this on and then I'm also going to try well not try I'm going to write um, credit to the original artist um, with a little at sign there randomly and then I'm using the S nib which is the super fine nib and I'm just adding some highlights to my word this is a lighter sepia color and adding some lines to the hair and the, the barrel uh, I can still read every word that is underneath this so don't stress nothing is uh, covered <laughs> thank you for joining me I hope to see you again soon bye bye